Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's video is about the case taken to the United States Supreme Court that could potentially curtail the crusade of a disability rights campaigner who has been filing hundreds of federal lawsuits against hotels. Disability rights campaigner Deborah Laufer has been filing lawsuits, claiming that hotels fail to disclose accessibility information on their websites and therefore violate the Americans with Disabilities Act ADA. The Apex Court agreed to hear an appeal by the Atchison Hotels, the operators of the Coast Village Inn and Cottages in Maine, arguing that Laufer does not have legal standing to bring the cases forth. So we're here today to learn more about the case and the implications it may have on the disability community. To have legal standing to bring a case forward, the traditional norm is to prove that the plaintiff has suffered an injury. Atchison Hotels claim that Laufer has failed to demonstrate that she has. In response, Laufer's lawyers argue that the language of the ADA allows for anyone subject to discrimination based on disability to sue if an entity has violated the law. It is worth noting that the ADA does not impose damages, and thus it is up to disabled civilians such as Laufer to enforce it. The lawyers for Laufer added that without civil rights advocates such as her, there would be no enforcement of the ADA. To counter this and the hundreds of lawsuits Laufer has filed, Atchison stated that these lawsuits lob apostrophe negation or in simpler words, are of questionable merit and use the threat of attorney's fees to extort settlements. The Supreme Court will hear oral arguments and issue a ruling in its next term, which will span from October of this year to June 2024. But until then, we shall wait and see what the results of this case mean for disability laws and the protection of disabilities in the U.S. This wraps up today's discussion. We hope you enjoyed our video and gained some insight. Thanks for watching.